Tsunumbu. APC also has evidence of voter intimidation. APC Southeast Chief Jing. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The Southeast leader of the Tsunumbu Support Organization, George Agwakahi, has claimed that your Progressive Congress also have evidence of voter intimidation and suppression against the party members during the February 25th presidential election. Abokahi, who said this when he appeared in a Rise TV morning show on Monday morning, said there was no perfect election anywhere in the world. Mind you, there are some say that there are also disenfranchisement of the All Progressive Congress voters. Typical example of which we already have records go to Anambra State, go to Enugu State, where P2B got over 500,000 votes, and the All Progressive Congress and the PDP were less than 10,000 votes. A typical example again is Enugu State, where OB got 490,000 votes. And the APC has a party that garnered only 4,000 plus votes, so let us reason together, he said. The point reported that OB won a number with 584,621 votes as the ruling party in the state, the All Progressive Grand Alliance, the APC candidate, Bola Tenembo, and the People Democratic Party could not score up to 10,000 votes in any of the local government areas. The closer driver was the presidential candidate of the PDP, Atik Obaka, who scored 9,036 votes. The Agua presidential candidate, Prof. Peter Omade, got 7,388 votes, while the Young Progressive Congress got 1,997 votes. Obi also won Enugu with 11,439 votes, with the APC and PDP pulling 64 and 395 votes respectfully. respectively. When I see if the states were rigged, the APC chieftain said, what I'm saying is that we also have got evidence that there were voter suppression, that there were voter intimidation against the all progressive Congress members. The APC chieftain's comments are coming following the outcome of the presidential election of which the PDP Democratic Party and the Labour Party have rejected over a larger vegan and voter intimidation. However, the All Progressive Congress leader said there was no perfect election anywhere in the world. There is no perfect election all over the world. You remember vividly in, 20, in 2007 or 2003 elections, President Solusha Gobasanjo came out openly when he was asked questions by the foreign press, believe in London, said it categorically said there is no perfect election, Agwakwa, he said. He said what he did in a situation like this was to check all the variables involved. My own is that um, no matter how it tarries, eh, at the end of the day, I just hope justice will be served. Like I said, this particular fight now that they're going to the Supreme Court to fight, to me, it's a lot. It is a, a kind of a means of showing people that almost if people know who do, they know who do there. How they tell you? Yes, they know who do there. Why? Because these people... um. The last time I checked, this uh, this this say uh, people that beside these people, their president is president of online, president of social media. A lot of people, like plenty, plenty people, they underestimated. And I told these people that do not underestimate any party, no matter even out of the eighteen parties, any of them that is coming out. Do not underestimate. You underestimate this party at your own risk but alas a lot of people underestimated you know uh, what's it called the labor party even the fantastic four all right um let me let me say this you see this particular incident here should be the reason why the strategy of the labor party i believe it should be kept a secret Whatever they are going to be using in court, everything should be kept a secret because me, I know that your progressive Congress and the people, Democratic Party, they will eventually have the strategy. But you see the Labour Party, this is the time for them to close them out. They should make sure that whatever they find, whatever they have, they should keep it to themselves. It should be a surprise when they get to court. You know when your opponent did not even see it coming. And you just bring it out and cut and everything. It's all more that kind of thing is sweet. So until then, hopefully, the Nigerian justice system will be... They're going to tell us if, you know, they are the hope of the common man and the electorate. Or they have automatically or 
they have resigned their faith to becoming just a tool by the hands of both the executive and the legislature. The truth about this particular election is, it is not free, it is not fair. Coming out even try to, to sugarcoat it that, oh, there is no fair election anywhere in the world, you know, given all those vibes, no, 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 no. The thing is, the election is openly and transparently not credible, not fair. There is nothing like, um, you know, it is not, there is no perfect election anywhere. If you want to talk safe, you do wrong. Come as I say, you do wrong. Don't go through the corners. And once again, I wish that the Supreme Court or the justice system of Nigeria will come outside and you know, prove that it's some, the common man, that is the electorate can run to them and they can actually, you know, save them from the pressures. We wait until then to find out. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.